So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are indeed conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. Just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Rafael Varane. He's solid in the air, Peter, he's tough in the tackle and a very good reader of the game. Most of all, though, if something goes wrong when the opposition break through, he's got the pace to get back and, and make a vital intervention. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Now it's... It's one! Oh, that's a fine save! Griezmann sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Kimmich. And here's Canabry. He's being closely tested here. Now it's Giroud. Rudiger cuts it out and back to base. Gnabry. That was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. And here's Griezmann. Over to the left. Kimmich placed it clear. It was all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Werner. Gnabry. Matuidi demonstrating fabulous determination. He just will not be beaten. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Throw it. And that's a throw in. Pavard. And here's Griezmann. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Conte. So who can spark this game into life? Now it's Giroud! Brandt displaying his defensive capabilities there. That's no striker's tackle. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. Chance! And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
what have we learned from the first 45 minutes? It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. And after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. The action has already resumed here. He certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. to get it forward quickly well positioned to make that interception Pogba Mbappe Pogba and it's Matuidi Ben Yedda! oh great save real class Ben Yedda is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Danger averted for now. Baran gets it back. Gets away from his opponent. Brandt gets up to head it. No, he couldn't get the direction he needed. France can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Done very well to intervene. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. But there's a long ball. And he heaves it forward. Brandt. Could be a... Gnabry! He's pulled off a fine save. Gnabry simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Talking about drama. Uh, he was never going to miss from there. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Germany take the lead, 1-0. Well, we certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now a difficult decision. Is it stick or twist? He's got options out wide. And the assistant referee rightly gives him offside. Werner tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Has gone out.
Germany are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end too. Mbappe. Havar. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Germany still ahead by the game's only goal. Kante goes looking, and it's Matuidi. France are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Varane battles to win it back. It has gone through, has a hit! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. So here comes the substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Tries to get it clear. Germany probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Neuer gets it upfield. Gnabry. It's out for a goal kick. Germany need to hold on for a few more moments. And there goes the final whistle. Germany hit it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score.